Well, isn't this a fine Friday afternoon at the Aztecs Stadium for Senior Night 2024? Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Let's begin by introducing Aztec Seniors. Number two, Isabella Franchini. She's accompanied by her mom, Lynn LaGuidance. Isabella's position is attack. Isabella's maintained a 4.0 this school year and building confidence on the field. Isabella would like to thank her mom, Lynn, her siblings, her grandmother for staying by her side through everything. She is also thankful for her teammates and the memories she has made through the years. Her favorite Lacoste memory is winning the state championship her sophomore year. Isa plans to attend university where she will double major in Spanish and kinesiology. That is senior two. Isabella Franchini. Next up, five, Ella Wombacker. Ella is accompanied by her mom and dad, Christina and Mike Wombacker, and her sisters, Grace and Zoe. Ella's been a midfielder her entire years, and her achievements, her sophomore year, awarded Team Rookie of the Year and winning championships. Her junior year, she made the All-Stars and All-State, as well as our team's Midfielder of the Year. Ella would thank her parent and past lacrosse coaches. Their guidance, support, and inspiration have shaped me into the player she is today. To all her teammates, thank you for all the laughs and for giving me life-lasting bonds and memories she will carry forever. An even bigger thank you to her family for being her biggest fans and always providing her support system to lean on throughout her lacrosse journey. Sharing the field with my younger sister is also something she will cherish the rest of her life. Her favorite lacrosse memory was winning the semi-final game at Xavier her sophomore year. Her future plans will be attending NAU where she'll be majoring in psychological science. That's senior Ella Wombacker. Next up, 12, Abigail Keys O'Sullivan. She's accompanied by her mom, Evelyn, and little sisters, Icy and Dad, Aiden. Abby, Abigail's been a defenseman, or defensewoman her whole life. Thank you, Abby would like to thank her parents for supporting her through all the four years of the cross and supporting all her life goals, and her teammates for being so welcoming and supportive when she joined Corona last year. Abigail's favorite lacrosse memory was the first game she played with Corona. Abigail plans to go to the U of A to major in medical sciences and emergency medical services. That's senior 12, Abigail Keys O'Sullivan. <laughs> Next up for Claire Hoskin. Claire is accompanied by her dad, Dwayne, and her mom, Julie, and her sisters, Lexi. She's an attacker. Her achievements have been captain of the JV team junior year. Claire would like to thank her family for pushing her to stick with the cross. Claire's future plans will be attending ASU and will pursue a degree in mathematics. Claire's favorite memory when she won the state championship her sophomore year. There she is, 14, Claire Hoskins. Next up, 22, Sammy Garrett. Sammy's accompanied by her mom, Melissa, her stepdad, Jason, and her dad, Scott. Sammy's been a defender. Sammy's achievements was making All-Star Junior Year and winning the state championship her sophomore year. Sammy would like to thank her family for the never-ending support and encouragement. Thank you to her mom for always being there to keep me in check, driving me when she couldn't, and always being the shoulder I could lean on. Thank you to my team for the never-ending laughs and for teaching me valuable lessons that I couldn't find anywhere else. Sammy's favorite lacrosse memory was her sophomore year, the bus ride back at home, fourth from Tucson after winning her season or opener. Yes, Sammy. Sammy will be attending the University of Utah to pursue her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing degree. That's 22, Sammy Barrett. Next up, 23, Joe Saligo. Joe's accompanied by her mom, Sasha Patacio, and her stepdad, Evan Sperhart. 
and her teammate Mel. Jo has been a midfielder. Jo's achievements were All-Star and All-Star State Sophomore and Junior Year. WNT team for Arizona. And her championship win sophomore year, playing with, with I'm going to try this one, Adonisia. Jo would like to thank the, her memories for the four years. Thanks for all the endless support. Thank you for being a second family and my sisters. Love you all. Joe's favorite lacrosse memory was playing off games to championship sophomore year. Joe plans to attend Oneida Community College in New York to major in PE and fitness studies and to further her lacrosse -lac career as senior 23, Joe Salego. And at this time, every one of the seniors would like to thank and extend a very special thank you to their very own head coach, Nikki, and the entire coaching staff. You guys have made this a wonderful season with your knowledge, hard work, and love of the game. We are so very blessed to have you. And again, thanks to everyone for joining me tonight. Go Aztecs! And there you are, your seniors. Two, Isabella. Five, Ella. Twelve, Abigail. Fourteen, Claire. Twenty-two, Sammy. And twenty-three, Joe. All right, fans. At this time, we'd ask everybody to please rise if you're able. As we honor the country with the playing of our national anthem, the flag is off to your right. introduce the rosters for both teams starting off with the shirt drawn up on the route 10 Oro Valley's team. Double zero is Megan Zoo. Three, Alyssa Lemaire. Five, Grace Bernert. Seven, Caitlin Hemerlick. Nine, Anira Etra. Twelve, Caitlin Gross. 14, Maddie DeSena. 17, Isabel Crispin. 20, Nicole Filotti. 21, Lauren Filotti. 25, Chloe Sheffield. 52, Carly Charters. And 54, Alicia Roach. There you are, your Oro Valley senior lacrosse team for 2024. And here come your Corona Varsity players. Number two, Issa Franchini. Three, Molena Hartley. Five, Ella Wombacker. Eight, Kayla Park. Nine, Kendall Clock. Ten, Mabel Lopez. Eleven, Emma Humrick. Twelve, Abby Kifo Sullivan. Thirteen, Grace Wombacher. 
14, Claire Hoskin. 15, Jessica Amber. 16, Marley Wagner. 22, Sammy Garrett. 23, Joe Salego. 24, Bella Vallejo. 27, Lesky, Le uh, Lexi, excuse me, Lexi, Lesky Hopkins. 55, Kirsten Clock. And 14, Ava Arnold. 25, Jaden Clossing. There they are, your 2024 Corona Varsity Lacrosse team. It's game time.
comes inside, switches left. Almost had a shot.
comes in, bounce, shot, tipped. Out of bounds. Claire Hoskin going to bring this back in.
Cronus, 13, Grace Wombacker.
Michael Lopez carrying over from the first quarter still. Stay on the double! Hold on.
Cena comes in on the inside crease. Aztecs called for an illegal cross check. And Decina in familiar territory off this hanging cash from the left side against Hoskin. Last time was able to find a way in, see if she could do it again, and she does. Five on the night for Decina. Valley's 14, Maddie Decina. Thank you. 
bags, but showing some patience here. Aztecs. 
Andre Swampacker brings it back into play. Not able to split the double team. shot she knows it wasn't quite able to place it as that ball flies out back end zone here zoo a little bit closer so it gets possession to more valley but apparent pass out of bounds Aztec's gonna get another shot Two on the answer. Oh, 
we did have a whistle play with some continuing on there, but we are going to pull this back. Set up a front position shot from the Andy Nash. Last two minutes in the third quarter. Oro Valley's 21, Lorena Flotillo. Excuse me, Falati, pardon me, Lorraine.
gets broken up. Cena. Shot goes wide. Aztecs back it up. Sorry, Sammy Garrett. Actually, one of the seniors here tonight. Gets turned back over as Cena. Takes it away and gets the GB. I'm on the edge. Tries to force through here as Caitlin Helmreich, and she gets the whistle and gets the hanging hash. Drives in. Fires a high one and skins the top left corner. So Oro Valley goes up 12 7. Oro Valley is number 7, Caitlin Hamlet. Helmer getting the first one tonight for her. Oh, 
to drive. This deck dropped the whistle and get the ball back. Start. coming in. Trying to force the shot. He's able to get the cross check call inside the eight. He's got a three shot here. First inside match. As the clock continues to run, chance for the clock check to close the clock. Nicole, you're the clear. Nicole, you're the clear. This time a charge call. Oh, oh, oh! 